My name is Ezekiel Rijambi, and I'm the founder of Page View, a biomass product based here in Pokemon's Bay, Papua New Guinea. Page View is going to be the leader of sustainable cooking in PNG within the next five years. So, what are the problems in the cooking field sector? Firstly, scarcity of firewood. Pokemon's Bay is Papua New Guinea's largest city, and its population is growing every year. This has put a strain to the city's firewood resources. Also, compared with other parts of the country, Port Mosby is relatively drier. And then you have the trees that are growing in Port Mosby, which are not suitable for firewood use. Another problem that we have is uniform pricing. Because of rapid urbanization, people are moving to the city. This has resulted in an increase in difference between high income earners and low income earners. So the price of goods and services are set by the market based on demand placed by the high income earners. Our solution would be to use wood pellets. Wood pellets is basically compressed sawdust. Firstly, we would like to increase the availability of cooking fuel. Pellet fuel will cost 1 or 2 kina at the local market, compared to firewood which was 5 kina or 10 kina, and to cooking gas which costs 35 kina. So a lowering of the upfront cost is also a solution that we are looking into. So as you can see in the video, that's pellet fuel burning. It is clean, it is a high energy, and it also can be used indoors. The impact that we would like to have on the environment and society is shown here. For the environment, we would like to transition PNG's cooking fuel industry from a non-sustainable one to a sustainable one. For society, we would like to reduce issues that stem from access to cooking fuel. Women and girls are prone to sexual harassment as they go out to look for firewood in the bushes alone. Another issue is land disputes, where settlers infringe on landowner boundaries to go and look for firewood conflicts arise. Now when it comes to sustainable development goals, our impacts are aligned with SDG 7 and SDG 11. Sustainable Development Goal 7 aims to provide people with access to affordable and clean energy and that is what we are trying to do. SDG 11 promotes sustainable cities and communities. If a community can utilize their own ways to produce cooking fuel, that is sustainable living. So what makes us unique? Firstly, it will be our sustainability branding. Page Fuel will be the only sustainable cooking fuel supplier in PNG because we primarily utilize waste. Another thing that makes us unique is the lower upfront cost that one has to pay in order to obtain pellet fuel. So we will have two business models. For business to business to customer, that is where we sell to the customer through other businesses. Those businesses can be large supermarkets or local shops located close to where the customer is living. For business to customer, that is where we sell direct to the customer, who will then retail the pellets in paper bags to the end users. Now our goal plan is simple. We will focus only on two areas, production and marketing. For production, our goal is to build a hammermill. A hammermill converts sawdust into wood fiber, which we will then run through our pellet machine to produce wood pellets. The relocation is also important for production. If we are located closer to the sawmill, our cost will be lower, thus the need for relocation. Part 2 of our growth plan is marketing. In module 8, we calculated our serviceable obtainable market to be 13,500 households. But our production capacity is only limited to one ton a day. That means we can only reach 500 households. As demand increases, we will increase our production to meet our market share goals. Now what have we done so far? Last year, we built our setup talk to retailers and show them our minimum viable product. This year we're planning on building a hammer mill, getting our product to market and doubling production. Next year we will double production again until we meet our market share goals. Here's our financial plan. On the left side, that's how we're planning on spending the 5,000 US dollar grant. We will build a machine for 6,000 kina, purchase the land for 10,000 kina and relocate with the 2,000 kina remaining. That gives us a total of 18,000 kina or 5,040 US dollar. We're planning on using our one talks so the labor cost will be low. Now on the right side is the projected operating expenses and the income. Now you may be wondering how can we achieve such a high profit margin? Basically there are two reasons. Firstly, the demand is there. People want cooking fuel. Secondly, most of our raw materials will be sourced for free or very cheaply because we are utilizing waste and then converting it into cooking fuel. Now this is the thing. That's me, Ezekiel, the founder and the operations manager. Junior is the assistant manager and he's basically the one on site. 
and I'll send his media and he helps us to make videos. If you would like to invest in a startup that will be leading sustainable cooking in PNG within the next 5 to 10 years, invest in Midfield. Thank you.